Screen share. Okay, there we go. Okay, you can see that, right? Yeah. And we're recording. Okay, yay! Okay, so first I just want to do a little bit of recognition. Rachel, rock on, sister! Um, and I can't see you guys, by the way, so. Um, so that's four brand new people that you get to help this month. One's a guy, yay. Um, and it, um, they're a couple, so that's like super, super rad. Um, Tanya, good for you, girlfriend. You are so consistent in this business. And I know, you know, has it been about a year for you now that you've been coaching? Um, and you just like are, I mean, I, you're so, in, I'm so inspired by you because you just, regardless of what happens each month, you still do the exact same stuff. Um, and it's really, really paying off. You have a ton of people that follow you and it's awesome. And then Amy, and she's not on the call. She's super busy. Um, she is moving February 8th. So she's still working though the business, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the volume, I just shared the volume of our team. This is for the last couple weeks. Um, cause we are growing. We're a little bit of a, a slower team that's growing, but we're still growing. And each, um, that volume means that we're helping people every single week and every single month. So um, I just wanted to do a little bit of recognition to show you guys how much you're appreciated. So, um, okay. So, so I wish I could see you guys, but I can't. <clears throat> um, okay. So I just wanted to fly by a couple like brainstorming ideas for you guys um, in this like business. So oh my gosh, I've been coaching for two months or two years now and one thing that I never really liked to do was to share free content because I was just like, um, you know, I just, I just kind of always thought that it was kind of a waste of my time, right? Because I didn't really think like people would catch on or people would follow me or I just thought that like um, it was, I had to make it all about Beachbody all the time. So whatever knowledge I had, I just didn't think it was important for me to share. Um, Sorry, my girls are going to get loud here in a second. Um, but anyways, um, in the last couple of weeks, I've been sharing um, free workout videos. So they're like five and ten, five and ten minute free workout videos that I've been sharing with um, over a hundred people every day in one of my free groups. And I actually, it is kind of proof that like people do fall off the wagon if free content is offered to them. But there are like ten people that are consistent in following me. Um, with me sharing these videos for them and they're really grateful for them. So even though like, it's not, even though all these people that like I thought were like really interested in what I was doing and what I was sharing with them, like there's still those 10 people that are interested in it. So I think it's important to, and I do it as a freemium. So that's my freemium. My five minute shred is my freemium. It's what I call it. Um, there's always drama in my house. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> and, uh, where was I going with this? Um, so it's a great way to also build like your email list. So I think if you guys sit down and think about something that you're really good at. So the reason why I did workout videos was because I'm good at teaching. Um, you guys doesn't have to do anything, doesn't have to be anything to do with fitness. Just think about something that you're good at and something that you're comfortable with sharing and create like a five day like something that you can share with your audience to help build the trust um, of people um, to want to follow you. Because I think that's one thing that's really difficult in this business is getting people to follow you and trust what you're doing. Um, but once you gain that trust, they'll be more apt to like buy stuff from you, which is, you know, the beach body stuff. So um, I just want to share that with you guys. Um, build affinity. You know, honestly, I'm still trying to figure this out. So um, I want to, though, pull up. Hang on a second. Um, something that I had shared, I have it on here. Um, so this is five tips to building affinity. And um, okay. so I like to go through people's stuff and I like all their stuff, right? Well, this website says comment on people's stuff. So if in order to build affinity on your page, you have to be commenting on other people's, um, you know, posts and things like that. My only problem with that, though, is that I don't really want to sit there and play on Facebook all day. So I just, um, I think, I think I'm slowly figuring it out. So when I do a post, I make sure I have five to ten minutes after I do a post 
or even before I do a post to basically play on Facebook and like comment on people's posts that are currently on Facebook because if you do that then your post is going to show up in their news feed like right away so um rather than rather than like just getting on Facebook and like commenting on people's things and you not sharing any um posts at that time it makes sense to kind of schedule it out you know as best you can do a post and then comment on people's things so that your stuff pops up in there so does that make sense mm -hmm. um and that'll help build um, affinity for you and so It'll just help create more traffic to your page. Um, I still don't really get what's going on with Facebook because when I first started coaching, like I had all this traffic and now literally like sometimes I'll do videos. I'm like, that was a really cool video. Like there's going to be all these people and seriously like five likes. And I'm like, what? Sharing. I love this. Yeah. You know why? Because apparently um, Snapchat is the new thing. Facebook is for old people now, they say. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think that because I've been trying to research it and I can't figure it out. So snap, what, what, you, what is Snapchat? Yeah. We watched something the other day and it was some sort of vlog and it was talking about Snapchat is like the new thing for the young people. I don't, I haven't gotten into it yet, but um, okay. they're saying for like the moms and whatever now. Okay. Is it like, um... I don't even know. I guess I'd have to research what Snapchat is. Do you guys know what Snapchat is? Anybody else? I've heard of it, but I've never, I don't know anything yeah. about it. Like, really. yeah. I've heard it. I've heard it's like, so you like take like, isn't it just like mostly selfies, right? Like, so you like take a picture, but then you can put like a word like on your photo or something. It's like a quick, right? But now, like, do, um, Throughout your whole day, you can basically like make a timeline of your whole day. So I don't know, and then it disappears, you know, after so long. So, oh. so is it like a thing where like people can follow you though, or like only your friends you do it with? No, they they can follow you just like Facebook. Oh my gosh! And it's only on your phone though, right? Uh, yes. Like yeah. not on a computer. Yeah, I okay. don't think just an app on your phone. So, okay, so maybe that's why. Maybe just forget about the whole affinity thing and let's become Snapchatters. <laughs> yeah. But our, our market's on Facebook. We're not the young, we're not the young market on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> I know my friend has I need old people. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I do feel old. I'm going to be 34 this year. <laughs> um, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm almost closer to fifth, like 40. Anyways, okay. Um, uh, for those of you that have like um, like pages, if you post like on your page and then tag yourself in it, that also helps to build affinity as well. Um, and then tagging people, obviously, because um, um, if you like tag people, it will you know share in other people's news feeds, and then their friends will see your post. Um, and then it says sharing a piece of content. I honestly don't think the share link does anything. So this guy, is, I don't think so. Whenever I share a link, nobody, nobody cares. <laughs> hmm. um, okay, let me go back to. You know what I get the most um, response from? What? Just posting recipes and posting my prep on Sunday. When, every Sunday when I post my prep picture, mm -hmm. I get at least, at least like five or six inbox messaging asking me what meals I made for the week and if I would like to share some of my recipes. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, you're probably known for that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think Tanya is known for her like quotes. She shares a lot of quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, I, I keep talking when I'm on mute, but um, Jen, that would probably be a good um, like free group for you to run. If yeah. you would like, um, just teach people yeah. how you do your prepping and stuff. That's a good yeah. idea. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, that would be super awesome. Just find something you're comfortable with. I would yeah. never ever do a food prep one because I suck at food prep. But like, you know yeah, what I mean? No. Like, find something you're comfortable with, and then just in one day. So I just created my um, like my stuff in one day. I just mm -hmm. sat down. It was on a Sunday. It took me like four hours, but I got it done. So now that's what I'm gonna use every time. Yep. I do. And that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to focus on. I'm going to build on it. Like every time it's going to get better every time. 
Um, yep. But I would just focus on that one thing, and then that's like what you'll become known for. Yeah. Um, I am. I know that Beachbody says invite, 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 invite. Like message, message, message. I am totally bored with that. So yeah. I don't connect with people that way anymore. And I found that by doing this group, I actually connect with people on a real level um, because I'm building that trust with them. So they'll ask me like questions and I'll be able to answer them. Like instead of me just feeling like I'm pestering them to like join me. Yeah. So my business has slowed down in that way because I'm not like messaging people outright. Um, but I feel comfortable doing what I'm doing and I feel like not like a stress case. You know? so that's it. Like they're coming to you, right? Now, as much as in, rather than you going to them. Yeah, I mean, it works for some people to message people, like some of the top coaches. I think it works for them, but well, although I think they probably have people coming to them. Too, but I think that Beachbody has built up so much that I think the way that we um, target who we want to be has to be different than it was four years ago. You know. Yeah, um, I think so. Well, especially because there's a lot of companies that are similar, like, unique, and a similar kind of um, structure, like unique, and all these people on Facebook, like working similar businesses. I think that um, I just think people get annoyed, you know. Um, <clears throat> am I like? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm gonna share. Can you guys see? Oops, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna share this one. The next one I have is um, be patient. Oh, yeah, be patient. Um, yeah. How do I fix this? Maybe if I turn it down. Um, can you guys hear me still? Um, can you guys? <sighs> <laughs> I don't know how to fix the echo. <laughs> okay, so just be patient in this business. Um, if you're not, well, you know, just be patient with creating a target audience and, and sharing your information. If you're not, well, and even if somebody just like, if you're working on research, if only like one person likes your post, keep it up because you actually don't know how many people actually saw your post. Some people are really shy and they'll just come up with a work message and be like, I've been following you, how do I join Um, People take a really long time. So if you are doing the messaging thing and people ignore you, I find that you might notice in two months they message you back and are like, okay, like I'm ready to do this now. You know, I've seen what you've done. I've seen how you changed your life. So how can you help me? Um, I know that's a really hard thing in this business because you do really want to help people like it's in your heart to help them but some pe sometimes people just aren't ready. Um, so I wanted to share that. And then what makes you you like this part is really important because um, you want to attract people who are like you. So you need to share like who you are exist you know fully who you are so I know they say follow top coaches I actually love that idea because you're not a top you know you're not like you're not them um so I think you just need to come up with creative ways to like share who you are like Anya does a great job at it um because she's always sharing like her workouts and she's sharing her kids and she's funny and um her kids like in last year, she's really created a really great following of people who um, know who she's all about. So, um, okay, and then the last thing, okay, <laughs> and I did this the other day and it actually got a ton of traffic. So, share opinions on things that one, mean a lot to you, two, will create a solid discussion and maybe even like get people fired up, like if they don't agree with you, and then like they lots of traffic. So, I am in this group right now. It's actually one of my fellow coaches. She's doing this thing on um, kids healthy. Um, and one of the questions in her group was, uh, "Do you make your kids eat all their food on their plate?" And, and I'm pretty sure I was like the only one that said that I do out of like 50 people. And it's something I feel super strongly about because it there's a lot of things that kids learn at the dinner table, like. Mom took time to prepare food. Like, if you sit down, you need to eat it all, even if you don't love it. Like, it's a lot of things. Um, and my kids aren't going to get away with eating red meat, right? Like, that kind of thing. And this one lady said, and I'm sorry if you guys like believe this, 
Um, I don't mean to be offensive, but this one lady said, this one lady said that if you make your kids eat all their food on their plate, it leads to obesity. And I like wanted to like shake her and like tell her that she's wrong. So I actually did a post on that because I was super annoyed. And I got like so many people like I agree with you, you know, hundred percent. Then some people were like, Well, I can agree, you know, I agree partly I partly like don't agree, you know, like but it was good because it just kind of created this like really cool discussion and it created kind of traffic I think like you know like 30 or 40 people really I mean it was a good conversation it was interesting to read like people's opinions on it so I think if, if there's anything that you strongly feel about it you know post about it you know, like I was like oh I wonder if like anybody is gonna you know not like me because of this but the point is you kind of want to know those people that don't connect to that thing. so so um, I wanted to share that with you. And I think I'm going to do that more often. Um, just post the things that I think strongly about because I want to, you know, work with like minded people anyway. But that's a great way to bring in, like, even people who aren't your friends, you are bring in people to your network by doing it, by sharing a solid opinion on something. Like, you're being a solid opinion on something. But, um, yeah, that's kind of all I want to share. Um, do you guys have any, any ideas on how to um, like talk about challenges on your profile page? Like, anybody, Tanya, what did you? I haven't listened to that call yet. That Bonnie did. So, do you have any um, tips from what you heard from the call today? Um, she. Uh, let's see. Not to put you well, on the spot. like you said. Um, she like when she gets objections, she turns those she turns those into posts so that she um because if one person is asking you that question, there is more people out there that have that question and may not just want to come out and say it. So if you get like an objection or you get a question, turn it into a post, and then you can help more people by just putting it out there for. Yeah. Everyone too. That's a super yeah. good idea. I remember her um, saying that before. Yeah. Success Club is yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I remember um, her saying that. Uh, uh, she, <laughs> what's that? I remember her saying that. I actually uh, remember Brigitte saying uh, that. Um, and, Okay, maybe this was her, because maybe I'm writing the notes, reading the notes from her webinar. Well, here, okay, I, so here's I, the deal. I, I watched Brigitte's webinar mm -hmm. just the other day. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, yeah. It might, this might be from Brigitte's webinar. Yeah. So here, yeah, okay, so let me just uh, add on to this for just a uh, second. So, uh, the, um, <laughs> let her talk. <laughs> She's like cutting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you there? I we can't hear you, Tanya. I can't hear you. You sound like a robot. Maybe, I think she's frozen right now. Oh. oh, there's movement. <laughs> oh, oh, she's gone. Oh. Uh, okay, this is just me being totally honest. Okay, so Brigida, our top, um, our top coach, when I signed up two years ago, she said Success Club is a non-negotiable, okay? Mm -hmm. Super rad, super awesome. So I jumped on that boat. I did it for two full years and I hit Success Club every single month, right? For 24 months. She said, I promise you, if you hit Success Club every single month for the next year, right? When I first started, your business is going to like explode, right? So I'm just telling you, I really don't know like what I did, but my business did not explode. 
and even after that second year, it still didn't explode. And so um, I just kind of, so for those two years when I, when I was hitting Success Club, I even bought a couple challenge packs so I would hit Success Club. Like all I was was a freaking ball of stress. So I'm just telling you guys this because I don't want this business to take over your life and who you are as a person and as a mom because I let it do that to me. So while they say, yes, Success Club is a non-negotiable, I really don't know because I worked my booty off for 24 months and I didn't see a whole lot of like payback, you know? And so I just, I'm just telling you this as a friend, like I know we're all on the same team, we're all trying to build, but I just build this business how you feel comfortable and how you don't feel stressed out. Because when November hit um, this year, I just gave up because I was like, I am, I'm burnt out. Like I'm burnt out. So you just, you know, and if you need to take a break, then just take a freaking break, you know, because the last thing you want to do is get burnt out. Like you're in this to like help people out. You know, mm -hmm. I know Bonnie and I know like Brigitte and all those people like hit success club. Um, but Brigitte is Mormon, you know, like she has so many friends and they're, I, mean, I hate to say that, but seriously, like all those top, like a lot of those top coaches are Mormon. And so all, they have friends who want to help them and then they want have friends that want to make money. And like, I see it all the time because Arizona is full of Mormon people and I, they're wonderful people. Don't get me wrong, but it really helps when you already have that culture of people who want to help you. When you have just a few friends and you're trying to build this business and make new friends and make, you know, let them trust you and like build this business with you, like that's harder than when you already have this circle of people, right? So I think I mean, for us too, like we had already discussed, I think um, right now a challenge for us is with the Canadian dollar and um, it is more expensive, you know, like we were saying, what it costs after tax and shipping 139 just for bank shakeology and for you it was like 107 yeah that's a big difference it is a big difference yeah so yeah i mean that's you know that's another thing so i mean you guys can choose what you want to do i'm just telling you like i'm i've totally switched how and emily as well has switched how she has you know been reaching out to people and things because she and krista we've all we all did the same thing for two full years and we didn't see a whole lot of growth mm -hmm. So, um, I'm just being totally honest with you guys. <laughs> it's totally, you know, up to you what you want to do, but, um, that's my thing. Okay. Tanya, what else? Anything else? Um, not really. I'll talk about, talk about the business, talk about the business more or not more. That you are working a business and yeah. doing things, and that you have um, your you know stuff like that. Right. Yeah. That's also true because I had one of my um, volleyball teammates. She didn't even realize I was a coach, and she bought the twenty-one day fix from somewhere else. And I was like, okay. I've been posting for a month and a half and you didn't know, like, so I was yeah. kind of like, she's like, Oh, I totally would have bought from you. I'm like, well, mm -hmm. come on. Yeah. And I've been talking about it. So I was kind of shocked. She didn't know. Mm -hmm. I know that happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing too, and I need to challenge myself to do this too. When I run challenge groups, the one thing that I don't do often enough is like share people's results on my page. Right, because that's what gets people attracted to what you're doing, and then that way too, you're also sharing that you're a coach in the same like, you know, post. Um, so I think like once a week, like I think I challenge us all to maybe share results of one of our challengers. Obviously, ask them first, but like maybe Transformation Tuesday, or you know, just it also allows people to kind of look forward to something that you're going to share. Um, so. Yeah, and that will make your challenger like feel really good, right? That you're like you're proud of them and you want to share their results that far. And it doesn't even have to be anything awesome. Um, it could be just like three pounds because that makes people feel really good. Hi, Tara's husband. <laughs> um, <laughs> with, I guess. Oh, sure. Jeff. 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 Okay. Hi, Jeff. Um, <laughs> and then. <laughs> Um, then the other thing too, as far as like sharing that you're a coach, um, one really cool way to share about the income part of it, which actually is 
the number one thing in marketing that like turns people on to joining you, which is weird because it's really hard to talk about, is just simply sharing like, hey, we got paid today, so I took, you know, I took care of date night tonight or whatever it is, even if it's just like a hundred bucks that you made and just sharing that with like, oh my gosh, when I got my first paycheck, I was like, like I work from home. How am I making money? Like I was just blown away. And it, even just little things like to be able to help pay for the groceries that week or, you know, just the little things. If you share maybe one thing a week, like what you're doing with, or if you're saving for a trip, you know, a trip that you wouldn't been able to go on if you weren't working from home, like just sharing little things like that is what really attracts people to you, even though it's hard to talk about. Um, that's definitely something that you could share. And I know Bonnie shares like all this fabulous stuff, like $200,000 in debt that she paid off and, you know, but it, she started, she started sharing like the small things at first. And then once you grow in this business, you can share the big things. I just, I, it's a really big deal to be able to share that. So, um, Rachel, did you get your first paycheck this week? Uh, I think, well, I saw like my commissions, um, like it showed up today in, uh, like on my coach online office or whatever, okay. but I, it didn't go to my account. So I'm wondering if it gets paid like next Thursday. So get paid next Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so kind of what I figured. Sold, yep. So anything you sold up until like from last Thursday to this Wednesday, okay. you'll get paid next week. So you'll see it in your commissions, but you'll yeah. see it deposited next week. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Yay. So that was like last Thursday was when I had my first sale or first two sales. And then I had three more on Monday. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it was almost $200 in commission. So I'm like, what? I like yeah. I barely tried. I mean, I tried, but <laughs> well, you put out there, right? Like if you didn't put yourself mm -hmm. out there, you wouldn't right. have to do anything. So yeah. it's like, really it's cool. shocking, like where people, yeah come from because like some of these people I haven't talked to in years and they just were like hey I love that you're what you're doing like how can I join I'm like all right let's go this is, this is perfect it's the whole point right like yeah yeah it's I'm like, excited about the one couple actually because they both like they've been married for a couple years no kids yet and they both like are you know a little overweight so it's probably possibly preventing them from getting pregnant sometimes mm -hmm. so um they didn't actually say that they're trying but uh you sort of assume things here and there but sure. um i'm excited to help them get in shape anyway so um i'm, I'm excited that they're doing it together too so that's like super cool that never have i've never worked with a couple before that's like really cool yeah like he bought one and she bought like a whole challenge pack each i was shocked i'm like what you're both getting one that's a lot of money all at once but i'm like go that's for it that's awesome you got to commit so that's all right maybe there'll be that like couple that like um you know kind of motivates each other and like kind of make it a competition oh that'd be cool that'd i should tell you cool. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be super cool. Okay, I'm gonna take our picture. Hold on. <laughs> Everybody smile. Oh, it's on me. You know when you turn your phone on and it's your face and you're like, ah, too many selfies. <laughs> hey, ready? <laughs> Tara. <laughs> no, I just did a picture of my team. Um, that's another thing too. When we have team calls, I think oh, we need it. Careful. Like, just talk about it more. Talk about, I think it's, I don't know, I just think it's fun. I was really excited to talk to you guys tonight. I wish we all lived closer, but. Yeah. Is, right? Maybe one day when we're top coaches, we can have those retreats that they have. I know, I've heard of those. <laughs> so, but, um, okay, we have a, um, I don't know who, who wants to do it, but February 8th is our next challenge group start date. Well, no, sorry, it'll be like four days before that the four right because we do the the preseason okay we will get the change uh um, yeah the fourth so we'll start the fourth and then so we actually will go um the eighth for 30 days so whoever wants to um join in that i know rachel you have people that you're going to add to that so um, yeah we have a few <clears throat> so whoever wants to really that, talk so about the challenge group with a few of them, like some of them kind of don't seem interested in the group. So 
I'm going to have to get them to understand like it's super beneficial. So hopefully I'll convince them to at least join. And then if they don't want to post, they don't have to post. But yeah, sometimes people just kind of look through the group and they're motivated by seeing other people's posts. But some people are just kind of shy. You know, everybody's personality is different. So um, yeah, but so for anybody who wants to um, join that, just let us know. And if you have any other ideas on like how like, how do you guys feel about the daily posts? Do you think they're beneficial? I know for me they are. Like, I, especially in the first challenge group I did, I really needed to post twice a day every day because it just was what kept me going. Okay. But I know, like, um, Christina in, my, in the current group, she doesn't really care to post every day, so I'm – not sure how to get her to because I'm like people will encourage you every day just do it so yeah. I don't know okay I have a question sure um what do you guys I don't know if you've had this um happen to you before but I have a couple of girls and they keep wanting to join all my challenge groups but they're not buying anything else they've canceled their Shakeology and um they're still kind of doing the workouts but not really but they still want to be in all my groups and they don't even participate so I'm like I called them out and I told them I said well I'll add you guys but you have to speak up and you have to participate in it and they still aren't and I still tag them in posts and stuff and they still don't but I know I see you I see you trying to encourage them yeah. um I would, I mean, honestly, I think there comes a point where, like, after, like, one or, you know, two challenges, and they're just kind of, like, ignoring your help, um, where I would just say, hey, you know, like, I really want to encourage you and support you, but you don't really seem to be taking this seriously, so I'm going to pull you out of the group, and then maybe, like, once you, I don't know, I mean, once you, like, are really, like, really, really serious about this, I'm more than happy to, you know, add you back in, kind of thing, um, because it is frustrating, you know, you're a friend and you're trying to support and encourage them and they're not taking your support, you know, and that, that takes time out of your personal life too, right? Like trying to encourage and support them. Um, yeah, exactly. He's so cute. So, I mean, I don't know, I would maybe just, you know, pull them aside and just tell them, like, tell them that you and then maybe just tell them that you're going to have to pull them out until maybe the next group when they have more time or they're more committed. Committed is a good word to use. Yeah. You know, when you're ready to make that commitment to me and to yourself, um, I'm more than happy to work with you. Especially if you're not, I mean, you're not getting paid for anything, right? Um, yeah, Amy, exactly. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but Amy does, even if people already have a workout program, um, she charges and she'll let them be in her group, but she charges them through PayPal 30 bucks for every challenge group. And I asked her how it was going, and she said, actually, it's going really, really well because people, if people are paying that money, they make that commitment. It just, it just depends on, though, how you want to build your business. So if you want to build it um, through, like, volume through that, or if you're just, if you want to just earn extra income, you know what I mean, like a different way. Um, just kind of depends on like what what you're doing. I haven't done that yet. I don't know. I don't know how I really feel about it. Um, but anyways, that I mean that might be another thing. So for your friends, if if they're not ready to spend you know 130 bucks on Shakeology again, you could say okay, hey, like you know if you want to be the group, you have to be doing a beach body program. I think that part is important. Um, beach body program is important. They can run on the side and do whatever, but I think that part is definitely important. Um, and then. You know, you could offer the PayPal option or yeah, you know. it's hard. It's, yeah, they're they're friends, so it's hard to yeah, um, it's hard. But it's like, and then I'll I'll text them randomly, and it's like, oh no, I'm I haven't followed through. I cheated. I'm whatever, and it's like, okay, you don't really want this then. I think I'm burning some. I smell something burning in my kitchen. I totally got my pajamas on. Yeah, I just burnt my green beans. <laughs> I put my husband in charge of them and he went out to the garage to ride the bike, so he got burnt. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, I mean, okay, so I actually love our challenge group because I feel like it's easy when only one person takes a week. And then that, we don't really don't have to worry about anything else except for checking in on the other people in the group. I love it because I would run groups by myself and it was me all the time and I felt a little stressed out and I didn't really have a lot of participation half the time. And so it just, it got kind of that way. So I like having to be the one week too, but I feel bad because I kind of feel like when it's not my week, I slack off on posting. It's not that I'm not like doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just so busy that I'm like, oh, it's not my week, but yeah. I need to get better at that. Yeah, but but also too at the same point, Time, I think it's like okay because there's so many of us like in the group yeah. that there's always like stuff yeah. going on. Okay, um, good. I like it. There's, I mean, there's 29 people in the group. Um, I think like seven of us are coaches and the other people are like participants, but yeah. I think there's a solid like seven or eight that post consistently. Yeah. Um, we're checking at least every other day, so I think it's great. But yeah, yeah I like how our groups go. Yeah. I don't know. They're so wild. <laughs> Every day. I'm like, when is it eight o'clock? Okay. So <laughs> anyways, does anyone oh I'm so Emily sent me this thing. I'll just close out with this. Um and I am gonna actually fill it out for her, but it's this email and it's like um goals that you want to set for the year. You guys don't have to do it at all, but it's so good. It's like goals that you want to set for the year and how you're going to get there. And it's something that I personally need to do because I've been slacking off. Um, and I just think that like, if I have something maybe written on paper, it'll help me, you know, a lot. So I'm going to set, I'm going to email it to all you guys. If you want to fill it out, you can, if not, I just thought I'd, I'd um, pass it on and share. And maybe, um, you know, when you build your team, you can also, you know, share that with your teammates as well. So, but yeah, you guys have anything else to say? Thank you for getting on. I think this is like the biggest team call we've had was like, you know, I have a question about your, uh, uh, five minute shred videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are you doing that in a group? Is that your free group? Your five minute shred. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. It's yes. My yep. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. So that's how you're like every day you're posting a new video for them. Yes. So I actually. So I think the next time when I do it, I will do my, it for only one week. It, um, so my internet connection's unstable. Oh, that's okay. that's okay. Can you hear me though? Um Hey, Rachel, while we're waiting for Tanya, do you see where my bands are? Yeah, I was checking that out actually. When I work, I normally work out in the garage, but that's where I hang them up over like the, I don't even know what you want to call it, but it's funny because it's dusty up there. So <laughs> when I pull like on the thing, I get like dusted. I'm like, oh, I got to get up there and clean. But yeah. I'm probably going to put like a hook in like the, in the ceiling that kind of jucks out in our basement. Oh yeah. that'll. Uh, work. Yeah. And the basement, like it, it's ugly anyways so it doesn't matter if there's a hook in the wall like it, it's no big deal so I'm gonna try it that way yeah that'll work um <laughs> so Tanya I don't can you hear me good yeah okay so for my five minute shred yeah so what I do is I just create a video actually the night so I create my video I use the Viva video and I had asked my participants prior to meeting them if they wanted me to just do like a short version or the whole workout for them so I actually do the whole workout for them. I need to change it to like 10 minutes because they're not really five minutes. They're longer than that. I, I just go over time. Um, so, uh, but every day I'll do a workout and then. Did you just find out uh, the green beans bird? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's in my house right now, like green beans. But, um, so 
Um, so I'll do the video. So like the first day I did like a full body workout, right? And I do like five or six exercises and I'll use Viva video and I'll be like, um, day one full body with Sharon Jackson, right? Like with the words. And then I just add in a couple, you know, I can share my videos with you guys. But, and then I just write in a couple things, like when we're doing squats, I'll write squats, 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 right? Like just to kind of make it funny and like try and let my personality come through. And then at the very end, I'll tell them in the video what the workout will be the next day. So they can kind of like know what it is. So if it's like a paper plate workout, I'll be like, okay, tomorrow's paper plate workout. And I just, you know, I do it with like the text. I don't tell them because I want them to watch the, actually watch the video and like do the video and then come back the next day. So I post every morning about 6 a.m. Um, <clears throat> my time. Um, a couple of times I've done it the night before though, because I know the time difference in Canada. Um, and the first week was awesome. I had like, I think on my first video, I had like 53 views. And I was like, for me, like that was really good. And I, but now I have like three views. So I think I'm, I've obviously lost people. Um, and so I think that I'm just, the next time I do it, I'm going to do it for only one week. Um, I'm just going to do a five minute, sh like, well, 10 minute shred, five videos for that one week. And then that way I can connect with each one of them, like on that weekend. So just Monday to Friday. And people will like have messaged me personally, or they've written below, like, thank you so much for doing these. And um, there's like a hundred people in the group, 92 people in the group and really probably only about 10 of them participate, but you never know who's watching. Right. So, yeah. Yep. But, yeah. yeah. So anyways, that's what I do for mine. Um, if, if I, uh, aim for a few weeks from now, if I do do a free, like, um, prep group, does anybody want to join in and just, uh, like I'll do all the work. I just, if anybody wants to join in, you're welcome. Oh yeah. I would love to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're really good at your prep, and you just seems so easy for you. Like you just throw stuff together. <laughs> so Listen, I have such a hard time. Like the I've had a couple people like, oh, what meal plan do you follow? And I'm like, uh, called whatever's in my house and <laughs> whatever I wrote down that day. I don't know. Like it's just yeah, that's yeah, good though. Yeah, yeah and I think maybe um, myself included, just people try to make meal prep like this huge extravagant thing when it really can just be super simple exactly mm -hmm. so yeah any of your tips would be awesome see you awesome. then okay we'll do yeah. so but i think that's it you guys thank you so much for getting on i hope like it was helpful for you guys and thanks for all your tips as well um so yeah um we'll have how often are you guys able to have a team call like is every other week would that be okay so like twice a month just so we can reconnect yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. And does Thursday work for you guys? Uh, usually. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I usually do Zumba on Thursday, but I mean, I don't know. I can figure it out. You could do a different night too. Like Wednesdays are good for me. Okay. Oh, my dog is so gross. He always puts his wet nose on my arm because he wants me to pet him. <laughs> Say hello. <Ed>. Say hello. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. I'll just say like two weeks from today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and if anybody wants to share like a topic that they're comfortable with sharing as far as things that have worked for them in the business or just something, somebody's inspiring story or whatever, just like let me know when you guys can lead a call, you know, one day. So, yeah. Okay. Don't be shy. Good. All right, guys. Have an awesome Bye, weekend and we'll see you in our group. You're safe. Bye. 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 Bye.